I know that I said that I wasn't gonna buy any variants. And for the most part, I've stuck with that. Now, with that said, I do have a large number of variants in my collection already. So what I decided to do was to go through some of my boxes, pull some of my favorites, and share them with you today. Stay tuned to this video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. This video is all about the variants, specifically the variants that I own in my personal collection and, and truly some of my favorite variants that are part of my personal collection. Previously, I've made some comments about not wanting to buy variants and I wanna offer a little bit of clarity and some additional context around those comments beyond what I've done in previous videos or beyond what I've said in my comments in response to some of you out there. So when I say that I'm not buying any variants, um, that's a little extreme. And, and really what I mean is that I am trying to be much more selective about the variants that I purchase. There are a lot of variants that come out, especially from Marvel and especially as of, I wanna say the last maybe six months or so, I've been seeing a lot of variants. If you look at the number of variants that came out with um, Amazing Spider-Man 800, for example, there were 50 some odd variants between those that came out from Marvel and those that came out from regular stores and, and, and retailers. And that's just a lot of variants. And I don't believe that you know variants are gonna lead to the downfall of the industry. But for me, I feel like it's a little bit of a money suck. And, and what I mean by that is, if I had purchased every single variant that came out, I would have spent hundreds of dollars just on variants alone for one issue of Amazing Spider-Man. I could have taken that same amount of money and bought a decent key of Amazing Spider-Man. Um, and so what I'm really trying to do is to be much more purposeful in how I'm choosing to spend my money. Now that doesn't mean that I won't buy another variant, it simply means that I'm trying to be a little bit more selective. So common variants, I may not buy those some of the more exclusive variants where there's a limited number of them that are being produced, those are the type of variants that I will probably continue to buy. But even when you talk about those, I'm gonna be a little selective in what I choose to spend my money on. Again, my goal is to get a lot of these amazing keys that exist, like um, Amazing Spider-Man number one, um, Fantastic Four number one. I mean. I love to own Amazing Fantasy, right, 15. And, and if I continue to buy the variants that come out every single week from Marvel, it's going to limit my ability to actually purchase some of these amazing keys that many of us would probably want in our collection. So I hope that this provides a little bit of context around some of you know the things that I said before. I'm not against variants, I'm simply against uh, variants that are a money suck, at least for me personally. Now, you may choose to do something different and that's perfectly fine. That's the wonderful thing about this hobby is that we all decide what we wanna do and how we wanna collect and how we wanna spend our money. Again, I just wanted to provide a little bit of context around my own comments. So with that, let's jump into some of these variants that are already part of my collection. First up, X-Men number one, specifically X-Men Red number one. This is a wonderful variant that I saw and I just had to have a copy of this. I actually picked up two copies of this because I, I just thought it was a wonderful cover. Um, this again is, is uh, X-Men number one, X-Men Red number one. This is a variant um, featuring Wolverine and it's just a wonderful, wonderful cover. Next up, sticking with this theme of, I guess, women off of the, the very first one, is one that I picked up recently, uh, probably, well, maybe two months ago from J. Scott Campbell. Speaking of variants, speaking of someone that releases a lot of variants, J. Scott Campbell released um, a series. Um, I think I picked up four copies of it. It was like A through A, B, C, D, I think is what it, how he numbered them, if you will. Um, and they were all signed, they all came with you know, certificates of authenticity. I am specifically talking about Domino Number no. 1. And this is just a gorgeous cover from J. Scott Campbell. 
I think this thing is really well done. The, the blues and the purple forming uh, wings behind Domino, I think are just, are just really well done. The way he um, drew her with two, the two firearms in her black costume, and it's just well done. I mean, even his signature, which is in silver here, just works really, really well with the, um, the inks and the artwork. It's just, it's just really well done. Next up, um, going to Spider-Man. Uh, speaking of uh, Amazing Spider-Man, for a fact, Let me take this off because this is going to obscure the uh, the view here. I have Amazing Spider-Man number eight hundred, and this is a uh, Del Otto uh, cover that I saw. This is not the Virgin. I actually debated buying the Virgin for a couple of weeks when I had a chance to do a pre-order and decided against it. Somewhat regretting that decision uh, just a little bit, but uh, I was able to pick up this this cover and actually picked up two of these. This thing is just really, really well done. Just a gorgeous cover from Del Otto. Super pleased to have this one in my collection. I know a lot of people um, who were able to actually get this book actually had um, damage to theirs. And I was thankfully able to uh, to get two copies with, with absolutely no damage whatsoever on those books. So definitely pleased about that. I'm gonna continue on with uh, Spider-Man for just a moment. This is a book that I recently showed in one of my videos, Amazing Spider-Man 799. This is a uh, 9.8 white pages featuring the Green Goblin holding Spider-Man's mask. And this is just a gorgeous piece of artwork that as soon as I saw this thing, I just had to have this one. I think it's really well done. And, and there's another featuring um, exact same pose featuring uh, Red Goblin that I just don't like as much, but there's something about the purple uh, popping off of the green and the pose and it's just the, the classic nature of uh, of the Green Goblin works really well for this cover. So, pleased to have that one, of course. And next up, I should have kind of done this one earlier when I was on the theme of women, that is, is uh, Miss Marvel number one. This is when uh, Kamala Khan actually becomes Miss Marvel. And uh, I have a, a number of these uh, sketches where it is like draft paper and it's almost like the artist is trying out different looks for the the character and it's uh he, he's showing her uniform he's showing uh different hairstyles he's depicting how tall she is and illustrating secret compartments and i mean it's just it's just really cool i don't know if you guys have seen these but these things are really cool uh, they recently did one of four that i came close to getting but I did not, but this was one that I actually picked up back in 2014 um, when I think I was living in Maryland at the time. I picked this one up and um, was going through my boxes when I started collecting again about a year ago and stumbled upon that and just remembered what prompted me to pick that up. So this last book is one that I've also shown recently. It is a, a homage cover to uh, Hulk uh, 181. It is Weapon H number one. And it is, again, just a really nice cover. There is a virgin version of this that I attempted to uh, pre-order. I was about five minutes late and um, the inventory actually was depleted by the time I was able to order. I thankfully, however, was able to snag this copy before uh, this inventory too was depleted. But this is the Crane variant cover A and just a really, really nice cover that I, again, am pleased to have in my collection. So again, wanted to showcase for you guys just a couple of the really cool variants that are part of my collection. As always, I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch these videos. Thank you in advance for uh, following me and also for any comments that you may be making.